Hi guys, it's been a while, but today I'm going to be attempting to make DIY paper flowers, baby's breath to be exact, for the first time. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, I last time I did something out of paper was a trapezium back in primary school and it looked terrible, so yeah, I have no idea how this will turn out. But I thought I would try either way. The reason why I'm making this video is because I bought this cup back in September at a cart boot sale. The colour is beautiful, the size of it, the shape of it is just magnificent and I've kept it on my desk ever since, completely empty and then a couple months ago I stumbled upon these flowers on Pinterest and I fell in love. They are so beautiful and I did not know they existed, I've only known baby's breath to be white. You can buy some on Etsy and other places on the internet but they're quite expensive and I just thought, you know what, there's probably somewhere on the internet a tutorial for it. I'm just gonna try. Yeah. We'll, we'll try. But this is also the first video in a series I decided to make on this channel that I'm very very excited about. I came up with it a couple weeks ago but basically it's a series of me recreating things I see on the internet. It could be things that I see on Pinterest, TikTok, websites, even films like the Once Upon a Time book from Shrek. Anything that I see on the internet and that I would like for myself but do not want to spend the money on or that I'd rather challenge myself and try to recreate. And and yeah, this is what is gonna take place with these flowers today. For this you need tissue paper, wire, gauge, gauge, 24, green colour, a small paintbrush, some green watercolour, floral tape, white glue and scissors. This is based on this website that I found on Pinterest, you can check it out, I've left a link to it in my description box. But either way, there are loads of other tutorials on YouTube that exist as well. But keep watching this video anyway. Yeah. So for the tissue paper, I did actually have some already. These... It's very loud. These... But they're pretty bright colours and I did at some point forget that I had them. Let's not... Let's... Yeah. Back out. So I did go and buy some more at a shop. So yeah, I got six of them. I took freaking ages deciding on the colours, but they're pretty pastel versions of the ones that I already have. Um, I might combine the two. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. I mentioned floral tape, which I do not have, but I do have a alternative. We'll see if it works, but it's basically just normal tape and this very thin green tape. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, let's get into it. I do have quite a few colors at my disposal, but I'm not going to use all of them. I think I'm going to start with this one, so yeah. So the first step mentioned is to roll the tissue paper into a little pipe. It doesn't say how long it's supposed to be but I think I'm going to cut here because it's already been cut and see if I fold it, it will be good enough. But yeah, I have this piece of paper and I'm just going to fold it into a rectangle line. Okay, so it looks like this. That's all or not- oh god. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to refold this again. And then after you've done that and you've rolled it into a little pipe, the next thing is to cut into a little section of just about half an inch, so 0.5 centimeters or five millimeters each with round heads. Half a centimeter, God, wait, there's no way. That does not look right. They look really big, like really wide. I don't think that's right, but we'll see. Like this, I suppose, that seems similar to the video. And then you're supposed to unfold it. Once you do that, you're going to take your wire, cut a piece of it, just wrap it around. I'll probably glue this. I just wanted to test it out first to see if it looks like anything. This looks... this does not look right. This looks so bad. I think it's too long. I think it's because it was too wide. Well, I still have this piece. I think I'm just going to unfold it and fold it up again so that it's smaller, thicker, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I tried again. This is what it currently looks like. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't look good. I don't know where I went wrong, but I did. It looks like it's giving me the middle finger. It also looks like Patrick Star and also like a mushroom upside down, which I guess I'm okay with. <laughs> um... I was using this to glue it to the wire 
and it wasn't the best i mean it works fine i just think that it's not quite glued on there oh. um like if i just do this it's off it's not really on there very well so i think the next time i'll try i'll definitely use sellotape to really make sure that it's on there at least at the beginning and then i'll complement complement it with wood glue which i use for absolutely everything but yeah as you can see it's not looking amazing uh, i do know that in the video it looks a lot thicker so i think that before trying completely over again i'm just going to try to thicken it a little more by adding more paper to it so this is what i used for this and instead of making a whole new one with just this i'm just going to add this to what's already been made um i think in the video it looks like it's double-sided the paper for some reason and it also looks a lot longer so i think i'm just going to try that and see if that makes it at least a little better if it doesn't then we'll try something else but yeah i can't let this look like this <laughs> it's just not amazing yeah we'll we'll figure it out at some point hopefully i did not think it was going to be this hard if you watch the tutorial it looks so easy and this is literally only the first and second step but here we are i'm going to try that out and if not instead of only using this much paper i might use a much wider one that i'll have more to fold so that it's just bigger not bigger bigger yeah um, wish me luck. Wish me luck. So I did what I said I was going to do. I have glue all over my fingers now, but I think it looks better. I don't know. I feel like it looks like a tiny rose. Doesn't it just look like a rose? I don't know. I'm conflicted. I don't really know what else to do to make it look like a baby's breath because that's what the tutorial was about. But yeah, there's glue everywhere. It's fine. I said it looked like a tiny rose, which it does, but at the same time, I feel like baby's breath are tiny, and this looks big. Like, this is supposed to be one amongst many. It's gonna be huge if they're all this size. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to try to make other ones. We'll see how it goes, and then... What have I done? What have I been doing all this time? Well... We'll see. Okay, so I've done two more flowers. This is the first one I did, and these two are the ones that I did afterwards, so you have a bit of a comparison. They don't look that different on screen, but they are. They are not really sticking on that well onto the things, so I think I'm just gonna go in with some hot glue afterwards to secure them in place. But this is the first one I did after the first one, and this is the, well, the second one I did after the first one. So I guess they look a little better. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep going and see what they all look like together. I think that's how I'm gonna have a better idea than just having these couple of flowers. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep going since I still have all of these. But just wanted to update you on how it's going. I just did my driving test, the theory one, three hours ago. And I'm going to look on the internet for my results. I did it. I had no idea how that was going to go. But uh, I guess we did it. Let's go. I did that. 
now I just have to learn to actually drive and get my actual driving license. This is just part one. Um, yeah. I've now done quite a few flowers. I basically used the entire piece of paper that I cut out and this is what they look like and this is what they look like. I did save the last piece of paper that I will be using very soon as a stencil for the next set of flowers. Um, I do think that they don't look like baby's breath. As for the flower in itself, I guess they were right. But yeah, from like the side, they do look a lot like tulips more than anything else. So I think for the next set of flowers, I'm just going to use my stencil and maybe try to not make it as wide. But yeah, it doesn't actually look that wide but that's what my other pieces were and they look very long so yeah I'm gonna try to not make them as wide but we'll see how it goes I think I'm going to use a different color this time to experiment and to make this more of a unicorn's baby's breath like I intend them to be but yeah I've done seven technically because I'm not counting my big one but yeah this is what they look like and they don't look bad they don't look bad, they just don't really look like baby's breath in my opinion, but these are so slippery. Obviously you would have a better idea of what they look like if I attach them together like a proper baby's breath, but I still have many more to do before I do that, I think. Oh, also I forgot to mention, but in the video they do paint the tips with green paint to make it more realistic and to make it look better which I will be doing anyway but I think I'm going to exaggerate that even more so that they don't look as long as they do because yeah still so much more to do and yeah, yeah. In the end, I've decided to use all of these colors on top of this one that I've already made and also this one that I'm working on. So, as you can see, there's loads of flowers left to do, but yeah, I'm a bit sad that I don't have any purple. I think purple would have looked nice, but maybe if this turns out well and turns out okay, maybe I'll buy some and just add to the already made flowers. We'll see. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's so many more to do. I'm nowhere near finished, so I really need to get cracking because this is just yeah this is a lot <laughs> Okay, so I ended up with many different squares of paper. These are all the different colors that I then need to cut into strips. And then once I have cut them into strips, I'm gonna put them in these little glass jars so then I can make flowers out of them. I use the already made ones as references for the measurements, but it was pretty approximative. So it's usually normally around 15 centimeters on each side. It feels a lot more like a square than the first ones I did. So I don't know if it's going to be accurate or not, but I think the main thing is cutting the strips in thin pieces instead of being too wide, I guess. Okay, 
Okay, so how have I been making these little flowers? It's actually quite simple despite it taking quite a while. How I do this is first I cut quite a few pieces of wire in advance and then I just take my little glass jar and I just take one flower or a couple, it doesn't really matter, and then I uncurl it. In the meantime, my paintbrush that I use is just sitting on my glue or my glass jar waiting to be used again with still glue on it but it hasn't been that long that it's going to completely dry out. This is how wide they are. You can also see that the curve varies a bit. I usually start where the curve isn't as intense. At this extremity, it's very, very intense. The curvature or the curve, whereas here, it's not even pronounced at all. So that's usually where I start like this. Then maybe it will look more like a flower. And this is more like the part that I start with to build up volume. And this is more like to give it shape doesn't really matter I just you know that was my logic I don't know if it actually makes any difference but then I take my glue I dip it I just put a tiny bit at the start just like this and then I just set aside my paintbrush so yeah I take it, put it at the end and then I just turn it slightly and then once I see there's no glue I take my paintbrush add a bit roll it enough and squeeze it out so that if you have excess glue then you can just use it longer But yeah, this is what it looks like at the very beginning, and I just continue adding glue, fold it, and that's sort of how I go. I try to be careful with when you're curling it, that it doesn't like go, like when you're wrapping any kind of thing, that it stays in place. But yeah, this is what I do. And then once I'm done, I stick them into a pile so that I know what I've done in a day. <laughs> so that I'm not discouraged by how much I have left. I think there's 26 of them left to do, so yay! I have finally finished making the flowers, so here they all are. There's basically like three different types of flowers within all of these ones, um, and I'm not sure if I really like the colours together, but I think it's time to move on to the next step, which I would consider the last step, but it's to use floral tape and just stick them all together. So I'm going to put some floral tape, at least the combination that I have, over the bottom of each one, and then I'm going to combine them for them to look a little bit more like baby's breath, or at least take the shape of baby's breath because I really don't think they're ever going to look like baby's breath considering how they turned out but anyway I'm going to finish this and then give my thoughts on why I think they ended up looking so different to the tutorial that I followed so that if you try this at home maybe you'll have different results and learn from my mistakes. You know how two seconds ago I said I was going to do the next step which was to use floral tape? Well, I've come to that part and I don't know if I'm going to do it because it's it's a struggle. It really is. Normally I was going to use cellar tape with masking tape but the thing is, let me talk you through the process. These are obviously you've seen the flowers and you would normally put it at the very bottom of it but because that's where I put the glue while doing it it's basically rock solid so I can't like actually squeeze it into a thinner piece to basically blend the flower into the wire um, so I could cover it with masking tape but it's just so slippery it's not the right word but it just doesn't stick very well to the flower and there's so many of them I'm just like do I really want to struggle for that long? I don't think so so I think I'm just going to skip that part and move on to the second last part which is to attach them all together like so but with many many other flowers 
I think the reason why this step is such a struggle for me and not for the person actually making the tutorial is because theirs are originally quite pointed whereas mine are literally so square shaped like they're just square but yeah I did try but it just didn't look good didn't stick very well so yeah maybe next time don't make the flowers so square shaped truly struggled all the way through this I mean if you look at the first one I ever made it's pointy it's how it should be but it's just way too big my other attempts after that one also quite pointy and um, which would probably make the step a lot easier but I just wanted to make them smaller so they would look more like baby's breath but ended up making them look less like baby's breath so yeah I changed my mind again, how is that not surprising at all? But I've decided to go with a different option. I tried using this for literally two seconds and then realized it was gonna to be too complicated because it's too crumbly. So then I thought of other options I could use to mold a pointy tip for each flower that doesn't have one. So I decided to go with a more creative, experimental route. Despite not wanting to go with pet fumol because I just don't know how it's gonna work, I've decided to go with a different option that I also don't know how it works. But it's to use actual play-doh because I have some and I won't be using all of it. It's very easy to use. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I've got my little setup right next to me on my desk. I've got my flowers ready to be picked and combined. I've decided to combine them based on color. So I've decided to put the cool toned ones together and the warm toned ones together as well. Because if you look at images of unicorn baby's breath, you can see that each branch or bouquet is actually one separate color. They've just all been mixed up together. It's basically a mix of different bouquets of individual colors forming one bigger bouquet. So since I'm basing my flowers on that, that's why I'm separating the flowers by color. I did say cool tones and warm tones instead of just one color for each branch because I don't have that many individual flowers of one color. I've already started and to combine them together I do use my hot glue gun which is kind of risky and kind of dangerous but it is also very very effective. I take the longest piece out of each pack, I guess you could call them, and then I put a tiny bit of glue on the wire, take the next one, and then I just attach them together as best as I can without touching the glue while it's hot. And when I think that the glue is dry enough, then I just press a little bit more so that I'm sure that it's secured onto there. And then I do that with all the other pieces, just put a tiny bit of glue, take the other piece and then put it right where the glue is while making sure that it's the right length as the other one, making sure not to burn myself. And then once I think it's dry, I press where the glue is to secure it in place. 
and then I do that with all of the rest of them. I'm now combining the combined branches and it's quite the task. I feel like I'm doing a maths problem or a maths equation that I need to figure out. So far I've done this and yeah. So far they look like those like one color gloves but with different colors on the tips. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but they look exactly like that. At least they remind me of that which don't know if that's what I was really going for but yeah I'm using this image so I can try to be as realistic as possible but yeah it's complicated I'm trying to figure it out I keep thinking like okay so there's three branches here which was I can attach three branches together to a bigger piece but then again I don't have that many pieces so I need to make it look realistic it's a whole process. It was especially complicated because I realized that I actually have many more warm ones than cold ones. So at first I was like, okay, I'm going to, since I have 45 flowers in total, five of each are on one small bunch. Then I'm going to mine one cold one, two other ones, so that every time I have three different bunches, four more of them, except for one, except for one, But then I realized that bouquets are not actually that perfect, especially like baby's breath flowers. So I did combine at the beginning three of them here. And then I decided to take two of them here. And I'm going to attach the third one at the back. So that yeah it's I tried to make things simple and ended up making things a little more complicated so yeah it's a whole process um, that I'm having to deal with but yeah at least I started still going strong with the wood glue that's basically all I'm using to combine them it's my best friend at this point but yeah a small unfinished bouquet for you at first I put them all in different packs each combined in three different small branches it really doesn't matter i just combined them so that i knew sort of where i was at three by three one cold one two warm ones for the most part except for like one because i was one short cold one i only did this so that i was aware of where i put my cold ones because i didn't want them to be all in the same place in the bouquet and it looking funny so it's more to like be able to disperse them properly but again i realized that it's more complicated and at the same time simpler than that so i'm just going as i go and just adding where I think it should be added uh, while also keeping that photo I showed you in mind and in view so that I'm not messing things up. But yeah, they look the same. They're just so similar. Tell the difference, you can't, they're just the same. But yeah, I still have loads to do, but we're doing this. It's finally coming to an end. We have a tiny bouquet. A few moments later I'm finished with the flowers More or less It definitely needs something on the inside so that it doesn't fall and it stays in place I don't exactly know what I'm going to put in there to do that but I'm going to think about it I don't think it looks too bad. I'm also going to put some Play-Doh on the branches and then I'm going to paint it. And I think we can finally call it a day. 
The best thing would be to use green foam that you can buy in different shops but I don't have any and I'm not really planning on buying any so I'm going to find a other alternative but yeah if you have that kind of foam this would be perfect for it. I think this is going to come down to polystyrene and cutting it into shape. This is going to be awful. There it is. Let's see how it goes. Yay! harder than I expected. I started working on the finishing touches which is to cover all of the wood glue parts with play-doh and then paint it but I I discovered that I forgot to add these to the big bouquet um, I'm so upset I just put them behind my keyboard and then I completely forgot they were there and now I just I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to wait for this to dry. Maybe I'll paint it and then add these. Then I have no idea where because I did not think this through. But anyway, at least I have more flowers, I guess. This is going to be so complicated, but I guess I have to pay for my mistakes. I'm not as finished as I thought I was. Okay, finally time for the final verdict and conclusion on this project. I definitely think it doesn't look like the tutorial at all. I definitely went wrong somewhere. I think what it all comes down to is the thickness of the paper and how you fold it. Um, in the tutorial, it really does look like it's double layer and not single layer. Um, I think that's really the big difference. But yeah, they somehow turned out worse than I expected and also better than I expected at the same time. They look like very 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 close baby's breath maybe i think that's the closest thing i could say for them to look like baby's breath because they just don't 
and I think that was on my part. I sort of stayed away from the tutorial in the way that I used the paper to form the flowers. So that was a mistake on my part. I just tried to improvise a little too much on that. But I'm actually surprisingly really happy with my improvisation for the rest of the flower. So not the flower in itself with the paper, but all of the rest. So the stems. I do really like how I did that. I really like how the play-doh came out and also using hot glue I think was very very useful and very easy to use and also very inexpensive because if you have a hot glue gun and some hot glue at home to begin with then you don't have to spend any money on anything and I do think that floral tape can be quite expensive. So yeah, that was at least cheaper. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to use any floral tape um, and that I managed to use only hot glue and also play-doh, which again is also very inexpensive and I think it helped give these flowers a bit more of a flower look. I will say the only bad thing about using play-doh was that, as you can see in this clip, sometimes when you paint it over it, it did really, really weird things. It was kind of like some parts of the play-doh just didn't want to be painted so you did have to be careful while painting it and sometimes you did have to go back with paint to fix certain areas that you weren't able to paint um, with the first layer but besides that I think you just have to be a bit careful and you're all good. The stems do look quite thick in comparison to actual baby's breath if you look at pictures so maybe that's also something that I shouldn't have done since I used hot glue and play-doh that really thickens the whole thing instead of just floor tape and not touching the wire that much but it's fine and I am so glad that I decided to add play-doh for the bottom of each individual flower so that they didn't end up being so square it was easy to do and I think they turned out fine in that department so I'm really really glad I did that because originally I wasn't going to even try to find any other solution to make them have like an actual tip. I did go a little too heavy on the wood glue on the branches even now that it's dry you can see some traces of the wood glue which usually you're not supposed to see that because it's supposed to dry very clear but since I did go quite heavily on it and I didn't dilute it with water yeah you can see the wood glue but you know for someone who wasn't going to even finish it I'm glad that the way it turned out and also the tutorial was for a bouquet it wasn't actually something to put in a vase vase or pot so I did have to come up with a solution for that as well since it wasn't indicated in the tutorial um, so I'm really glad that I also found a solution for that by using polystyrene by using things that I had at my disposal so yeah I think that worked out quite well and yeah I can't believe I'm done with this I've been doing this project from February to June so it's been a very long project. It has been an on and off project, I'm not going to lie, so it's not something that takes that long to do. I've just taken quite a few long breaks in between because I just lost a bit of motivation to do this every now and then and I really had to sort of force myself to continue because I just didn't really like how it was going. But I'm liking it a bit more, as I said, it turned out a bit better than I expected. But yeah, I'm still a bit conflicted on the colors. Um, I know at some point in the video I said that I was completely unhappy with how all of the colors came out together but now I think they look a bit better. Um, they kind of remind me of fireworks actually but anyway yeah I mean my mother asked me to make some for her in white so I guess that's a good sign maybe um, but yeah I think I've said all that I have to say I would love to hear your thoughts on this if you've made it to the end of the video which I don't think you have but it's fine I did still enjoy doing this um, YouTube video despite how it looks like I didn't but yeah I'm glad that I get to share this with other people and yeah this is part one of the new series I talked about in the introduction and I'm very excited to see what else will be joining this series on this channel so yeah if you want to see that stay tuned and I'll see you soon bye